ICC's executive board has decided to revert to its previous position of participating nations deciding bilaterally on the use of DRS. Harini now joins us. Anand now joins us in the news pit. Anand, at this point of time, this is going to be seen as some victory for India. It is coming when the ICC's board has decided to revert its previous position. Well, it is uh, not just victory for the BCCI, but also the fact that their claims that, that the technology that is being used to implement the decision review system, be it the Hawkeye, be it the hotspot, or be it the snickometer, cannot be wholly and entirely tested or trusted. That, has, that is what has borne proof and fruit, and that is why the, the ICC has come back and said, all right, unless and unless both the teams that are participating outside of all ICC events, like the Cricket World Cup or the T20 World Cup, all other test matches and ODIs, unless the two teams participating or the two nations participating bilaterally and mutually agree then we will not have the decision review system will not be mandatory mind you on the 27th of june at the cec in hong kong they had made it mandatory the the drs the modified version of the decision review system without the hawkeye they had made with the hotspot and the snickometer they had made it mandatory for all uh, player for all test matches and odis but that uh, has been revoked and they've gone back to the old system we've got arun lal joining us on this story arun uh, what's your first thought when you hear that the DRS is not no longer mandatory and it's got to it will be implemented only if the participating teams mutually consent to it you know I think the first thing that uh, strikes me Anand is that the Indian position has been vindicated mm. we were all uh, you know for uh, technology we all know that that's probably the way to go in the future but at the moment technology is it's not infallible as we've seen and in fact uh, in a particular test match you can have two or three errors and that would be uh, something which is uh, just not workable at all. Why would you have technology when you're not sure about it? And uh, even though somehow some people would still insist that you'd probably get more right than wrong, even so, I think it's probably better to stick with the traditional and, and wait for technology to improve. Absolutely, and we saw glaring errors, not just with the Hawkeye, but also with the hotspot. Rahul Dravid, uh, you know, at the wrong end of it. And that, that one particular error could, uh, could make or break or swing the decision of the match. Oh, absolutely. But, you know, the, the argument for uh, technology is that some of the howlers that we see, uh, you know, big inside edges onto pad given LBWs, those can be removed from the game. So, uh, while, uh, you know, for the moment, I think, uh, you know, it, the best way to go forward is cautiously. That's why the ICC has said that both uh, teams have to agree and want it and have a modified version of it where you think that in most cases, or at least in 99% of the cases, you would get proper decisions.